I think people try to find me simply as a tall white girl who um, maybe is like very privileged. I think people see me and define me as another stereotypical black girl who I guess graduates through high school but does nothing spectacular after that except working maybe a, a minimum wage job. In the seventh grade, um, we were it was the end of the school year and we were talking about first impressions that we had on the first day and a friend and classmate that I had throughout the year told me her first impression of me was that I was rude and didn't like her. And that really stood out to me because I, everyone on the first day is shy. You know, being in a room with a, a teacher and, you know, there's something we have to move out of the way to do a certain assignment or a little group project and it's, you know, you boys come over here and see if you can lift this move out of the way. Obviously through stereotypes, she saw me as another angry black girl who, um, in the beginning didn't like her or was rude. You know, you take it in and it's like, well, they think that there are things that I cannot do just because I am a woman or I'm a girl. I think a lot of the times it's because it's little things like that, you don't think you should say anything, so I usually, I usually don't. The media portrays black girls poorly by having the stereotype that the black community is um, destined to be in poor neighborhoods, um, on welfare, working low paying jobs are not a job at all. So just them not being true productive members of society. Part of it is not saying something because you feel like you shouldn't because you still feel like it's something that it's okay for somebody to say about women or girls. I am Tashara Robertson and I define myself as a student who wants to pursue higher education to get a good job for my family. I'm Cortland Doris and I define myself as someone who um, has really tried hard in school and really um, looks forward to moving on past high school.